stay with education now. A group of students at a local high school have been honored for their achievements in the classroom. Five students from Terre Haute South were selected as semifinalists for the National Merit Scholarship Program. Yeah, some very smart kids. They say this honor will help propel them into their future endeavors. The staff says it's proud to have them represent the Braves. Garrett Drake tells us more. For 70 years, the National Merit Scholarship Program has helped decorated high school students step into their futures. And this will definitely help with getting into colleges or there's a program being offered at IU Indianapolis, University of Evansville, USI, and ISU. And it is this direct admissions program to med school. This could, it's very, very select. I think only eight kids are at University of Evansville. So this would definitely help put me on a higher pedestal than maybe other applicants. These five students were part of the 1.3 million that entered their names for consideration. That number is now down to just over 16,000. The staff at Terre Haute South says the achievement shows how industrious the students and faculty are at the school. We're just excited for them. The hard work they put in, having five students that represent 1% of all the students in the country um, is a huge honor for them, for all the hard work they do. But as a school, it recognizes that we do have a good staff, that they'll reach out and help students reach their fullest potential. And that's always been the goal here at South. The students say that it feels nice to receive recognition for work in the classroom, and they are proud to be part of this select group. I think this award, it's sort of like an amalgamation of all the five of us have done to like, you know, kind of get to the point where we are, like all those hours we've put in, all the support we've got from our friends, like Courtney said. Um, and yeah, it's like, it's a great honor to be here with all of them. In Terre Haute, Garrett Drake, WTWO, your news now. Well, according to a news release, more than 15,000 students are expected to advance to the finalist level of consideration. Those students are going to be notified in February.